Um, I don't know who the bloke is, but uh, yeah, this is a request from Lydia. Uh, PayPal patron. Lily Cornell, Chris's other daughter. And I believe she's the older one. Um, Lily Cornell Silver with Chris DeGarmo. That name's familiar, Chris De DeGarmo. Um, well, that gives way to blue. And then from right, this is the song Jerry Cantrell wrote. Someone commented the other day on my Alice in Chains. Black gives way to blue. Um, that it was a song Jerry Cantrell wrote for Lane Staley after Lane Staley died. Uh, but anyway, Lily Cornell, let's go. Hi, I'm Susan Silver, and I've had the pleasure of managing Allison Chains since 1988. I'm so proud of the guys. This Founders Award is well deserved. The band and I have seen the world together, celebrated many successes and mourned too many losses, including two of the original members of this band, Lane Staley and Mike Starr. After the 2004 tsunami hit Southeast Asia, the three remaining members came back together for a benefit to help the survivors. Their performance reignited their passion and purpose to be Alice in Chains. In 2005, they invited William Duvall into the band and they toured tirelessly for the next three years while new music of reclamation and healing brewed up inside them. In 2009, they released their first record since 1995. And that record and its title track are called Black Gives Way to Blue. When the record was finished, my then nine-year-old daughter, Lily, asked me, Mama, what does Black Gives Way to Blue mean? I suggested we call her Uncle Jerry and ask him. Jerry ever so patiently explained to Lily that sometimes there are very dark and challenging times in life, and it may seem like things will never get better. But if you stay strong and keep moving forward and look out on the horizon, you'll start to see a little point of light way out there, and slowly the black would give way to blue. He told her things would start to feel better and for her to hold on to hope and keep moving forward toward that light. Lily and I have kept this message. That's a very... That's a very good thing to give to a young person. The... Yeah, that's... That, in that explanation, that's almost a life lesson that she got at an age where she's still developed. Right, kids at that age are just, just, just like sponges. And the fact that she, he gave her, like, that explanation of the song was more of a life lesson than I think that little girl probably knew at the time. But it's so true. Uh, Tupac has a line, after the darkest night always comes a brighter day. Which is a similar kind of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, fair play, Jerry. That's some educating the youth right there. And that's like... More than just don't touch fire because it'll burn you. That's a real deep lesson. That the meaning will only become more meaningful as our life goes on. Well, I suppose... I don't know what age he was when Chris died, but that would have been, yeah, but let's go. Close to our hearts. Lily has known her crazy uncles and Allison Chains all of her 20 years. And tonight, 11 years after that call to Jerry, the band has invited her to make her musical debut, accompanied by one of her less crazy uncles, Chris DeGarmo of Queensryche. For me, this is one of life's most beautiful full circles. So it is with deep pride and gratitude that I introduce my daughter, Lily Cornell Silver. Take it away, baby.
say the two daughters because we did Tony but if she's the older one and she was 20 then she that Tony must have been really young their voices are very different like I've said it I've said the thing before that Noel says about him and Liam that Liam has the better voice but Noel's the better singer meaning Noel has a better range to his voice he can hit more notes but Liam just his voice just sounds better and I think you can kind of like from Tony's voice, she was almost like kind of an opera type singer. Although she it wasn't, but she had that. Like her note her singing voice was note for note perfect. Her voice is more maybe because she's older too, it's more real. It's more um it's kind of got that rock and roll kind of vibe where with the kind of gravel a bit like it's a bit of a, not obviously she hasn't got the gravel voice but like it's a bit more of a voice rather than singing if that makes sense even though she's hitting all the notes perfectly but I think the younger daughter definitely had like Again, it could just be because she was a little girl, so therefore she didn't quite have the develop, the develop. She hadn't developed her actual sound of her voice yet, because obviously she's still growing. But, um, yeah, that's the thing I'm noticing. It was like the younger one was more note for note perfect, but she, yeah, she, and especially on a song like this, her voice does sound. Um, it just works with, like when she went in the black, said the black gives way to like, you could feel that it just had this realness to it, earthiness, I guess, a more earthy sound to her voice. But like I say, that could just be age, um, because obviously you do mature, uh, in all ways, even vocally. Um, but yeah, her piano playing as well. She is fire. Did she have her own album or something? Did she write anything? Because, or was it just kind of this type of thing? But yeah, let's go.
that was fire. That was fire. Her voice is is well good. She's definitely got that um, chill giving voice just from how it breaks. It, like I say, it's just a more real voice. Um, yeah. And also, take away her voice. Her piano skills are fire. I love piano and she smashed that. I almost think she didn't need that matey playing guitar. Um, it could have just been her just sitting there praying and singing. Um, but yeah, she smashed that. She smashed that. Definitely made it her own as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I do see a big difference between them. Did, because I know, like, did the sisters not get on or something? Because um, obviously they've got to be from different mothers. I didn't actually know because I know that that was, I know that woman was the manager just from watching things on them. I didn't know Chris Cornell had a kid with her. Um, but yeah. Yeah, she smashed it. Smashed it. But yeah. That's the reaction. Sweet.